What's up, guys? Desert B here, and welcome back to Red Dead Redemption. And check this sunrise out. Like, wow. Isn't that gorgeous? Um, we're gonna do another quest for Bonnie. It looks like she wants us to meet her over here this time. By the blacksmith. The burning. Oh, jeez. Excuse me, Mr. Marston. Have you seen my father anywhere? No. He went out this morning to ride the land and was supposed to be back hours ago. I don't know. The ranch hands have been out looking, but so far they've found nothing. Uh oh. Come on, let's go look for him. What was her father's name let's again? He couldn't have gotten far. Shoot, I can't remember. Let's go! To the ranch outskirts. I've got a bad feeling about this. It's not like him to be away for so long. Don't worry, we'll find him. He's not as young as he used to be. What if he's hurt himself? Your father can still handle himself just fine, Miss McFarland. He's built like an oak. You're probably right, <laughs> but I can't help worrying. He's all I've got. Don't worry, Bonnie. Don't you have any brothers or sisters, Miss McFarland? I had six brothers, but five of them died, either from sickness or foolish choices. Goodness. He left for the east and never came back. Must be getting on for 10 years ago now. He's a high and mighty banker in New York, according to his last letter. He should be here helping you and your pa. I don't want his help. He can live his life any way he wants. But when I see those city fellers coming in on the railway, all dressed up like a sore toe, I fear a little for his soul. He switched his saddle for a tie, and that's fine. I just never met a man in a tie I could trust. Five, six Who's brothers. That over there? And five of them died. That is a uh, quite the mortality rate there. In 1911. Oh gosh, there's vultures flying up here. Who? Daddy, what happened? Nothing nice. Wrestlers, I guess. Maybe the Baller twins, that bunch. Now you head back to the ranch right now and fetch a wagon. Yes, sir. Marston, you watch after her. I'll do that, sir. Oh man. They think it was the Baller twins. I wonder oh, why. God, we boy. had a little run in with what the Baller twins, to too. Four Oh, they should get back there as soon as we can. Who could have done something like that? Your boss seemed to have an idea who it was. Let's just do what he says and get the wagon. He, I don't think maybe her father was attacked. Maybe he oh, just saw damn, them. Wrestlers. I've got a good mind to head over to Pike's Basin myself. I don't think that's a good idea. And you're no better. How many men have you killed? Do you really want to know? It's disgusting. You never met the men I killed. I heard the way you talk about that gang you were in. Like there was some twisted morality to what you did. We all have a code. Only some of us don't realize. The outlaw with the code? How wonderfully romantic. The reluctant murderer, the noble criminal. There's nothing more depressing than a man who's found a way to think the bad into. Look, Mr. Marston, the barn is on fire. Oh, the barn. Also yeah. like, geez, Bonnie, calm down. We don't need a lesson in morals. Oh my gosh. The barn! And they bar the doors? Oof. Oh, and the horses are still inside. Dude. Okay, it's got the bubble over here. Look at him carrying pails to put out this fire. I don't think so. Here we go. Press right, square to jump, all right. Marston's not exactly what I would call spry. <laughs> He's the, he feels a little heavy to move, I'll say that. And, uh, yeah, I don't know. I guess we'll walk, because running just doesn't feel exactly fast. Um, climb to the upper part of the barn. Oh, we gotta go to the left. And then up. And then where to get in the barn? Does it matter which door? Can I go in any of these doors? Aha, here we go. Oof. Climb down to the ground floor. Oh gosh. All the horses! Come on, John. Open the barn doors. Oh my gosh, somebody put a fork in the 
or you know, a pitchfork. <laughs> he got the door open. Goodness. We gotta get the horses out. Oh, come on, Bonnie. Well, uh, there's three horses. Come on. Slap that horse. <laughs> oh, this is a pretty horse. Give her a smacker. And oh no! Oh yeah, this is gonna be so cool. You can jump that. Jump. <laughs> okay, that was pretty cool. That was pretty cool, actually. Well, we got them, but they lost the barn, unfortunately. Her pa built that years ago. Aw, oh, man. You sure know how to handle yourself. Thanks, Marston. Yes, John, thanks. You, well, you saved the ranch. If you'll excuse Again. me, I've got chores to attend to. Hey, wh hold on a second over there. Sincerely, John. Thank you. Well, I did all I could, Miss McFarlane. Sorry about all the damage. That gang seems to really want you out of here. Yeah, well, my father fought Indians. I scarcely think we're going to be frightened by some white trash. White trash can be pretty frightening. Well, they don't frighten me. Good. John, my family owes you a great debt. I think you got enough debt. You saved my life. All I ask of you is this. If I get back home and get my farm started back up, you'll sell me some cattle. I prefer doing business with people I know. Of course, Mr. Marston. It'd be my pleasure. Um, well, you get some rest. I've got to go see how my father's bearing up. John's got some hat hair. Well, we saved the ranch twice now. The least they could do is give us some cattle. We got some fame. And honor and new weaponries available. I was looking at the map earlier and... I think that I might have waited... What's this? Oh, good. I thought that I was a little scared that I waited too long to buy that property and it, like, the quest went away. But I just don't have the money right now and I don't really want to threaten the guy. I mean, it's his house. So, um, I did do a little bit of hunting before I started up today. So, where's their general store at? I think it's over here. I want to see if I could sell off some stuff and... Maybe I can get enough money for that. And then we've got to go see Irish. It looks like we got to see Marshall now. This guy again! Chicken-headed. I should punch him in his face. Did he just spit on my boots? You a tough guy, mister? I hope so. We gonna have a showdown. Do you think instead of disarming him this time... I'll shut that mouth of yours for good. We should just shoot him? Ah, oh, that'd be awful on Bonnie's property. Nah, no, maybe not. Tobias is the same guy. It's Tobias again. Having deja vu. Okay. I wish it would give you the tutorial more than once because I didn't really feel very confident in the last time. Draw. Oh, shoot that hand. Oh, shoot, shoot, shoot. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Fill the meter. Oh, gosh. Oh, I think I killed him. Ooh. I'm oh, sorry, Bonnie. I didn't mean to. I got scared. But we can loot the body. <laughs> okay, well, let's go see if I can now conduct business with the shop owner that I just murdered somebody in front of his store. Dear sir. Hello. Dear sir. Alright, let's sell all of these. Sell. Coyote meat, sell it. Coyote pelts, sell them. Hold on, I keep the buttons. Wolf meat, yeah, I did kill a, a few wolves. Some a raccoon, raccoon meat. A wolf pelts are worth ten dollars. Oh my gosh, the wolf hearts worth twelve. Okay, wolves are profitable. And then I did get a few more of these. I think I'm going to hang on to the flowers because I, I want to say I need these for a quest. 
Look at that man. So, how much money is that? 378. Okay, I definitely have enough for, um, to, to finish off that quest. Good thing my horse wasn't in that barn. All right, um, let me think. So, who do we want to go see first? We've got, we've got Irish, the Marshal, and we've got... Uh, Seth again. I guess let's go meet up with Irish. We'll save the Marshall quest. For later. Oh yeah, so. I feel like we're moving along pretty nicely. We're, um... We're getting through these quests pretty fast. Look at this beautiful day. We could also do some of those challenges. Um, I need to ride a train and shoot five birds. So, uh, I could do that. Excuse me, excuse me. And then the wolf one, I just so happened to see the, there was a woman being attacked by wolves and unfortunately I did wasn't able to save her, but I was able to, what's this? Is this a wolf or a coyote? I was able to get some of the wolf pelts and stuff, but... Wasn't able to save the woman, unfortunately. Can you imagine being mauled by wolves to death? Ooh! The Wild West is a dangerous place. Although I don't can't really say that... Are there even wolves here anymore? Oh my goodness! His wife's been abducted. Is is this a trap? Is he for sure? For real? Where are we going? I wish he would give me some additional information. Oh, come on. For... A man that's wife is abducted. He sure is driving pretty slow. Oh man, what's going on? One, two. Oh gosh, his wife's hanging. No gosh, no. Oh, I think we we saved her. Nice. Thank you so much. I thought I was done for. Gosh, what is going on out here? I got a hundred honor for that, wow. And some fame. But I don't know if I got <laughs> I don't know if I got any money for that or not. So we'll loot the bodies. Pick up the our uh, the ammo and stuff. Five dollars. I don't know if that's from the body. I think that's just from the body. All in a good day's work. Another five dollars. Come on, come on. Guess the horses will just chill. Okay, anyways, on our way. Yeah, let's go meet up with Seth. I'm kind of I'd like to mix in the quest for these people and oh. instead of like pursuing one person's quest until they're all done, I think it makes better sense to maybe mix them in. I wonder where that road goes. And then maybe while we're over there on that side of the map, we can go ahead and do the, um, that property. Might as well. It cost me $200, but the guy that I bring the deed to might pay me for it. I'm not really sure. Although, the armory in town might be calling my name because they said that there's new weapons and stuff available. All right, we're back down to the desert elevation. It just looks so... Uh, the the lighting, I guess, in the, in the desert today looks very... It looks like it's early morning. No, no, not early morning. Late morning on a cloudless day, basically, which it is. <laughs> but 
That's uh, just what it makes me think of, like, in real life, too. Ah, uh, yes, I remember this. I wish you could greet people in this game. They keep saying hi to me, and there's nothing I can do except glare at them. Frenchman, a something, and a something. Yes, boy, you messed up properly this time, didn't you? You little paddy bastard. You thieving me cunt. You got it all wrong, Welsh. All wrong. It was French, I promise. He said he was going to rip you off. Now he's ripping me off. <laughs> yeah, keep on talking there, Irish. In about 15 more seconds, your whole world's gonna turn black. Goodness. What's up, boys? <sighs> Fuck off, boy. This don't concern you. When a man with a sing-song voice tells me to fuck off, it always concerns me, boyo. <laughs> Look here, this petty bastard stole our guns, tried to steal our horses. Law's clear on the matter. I never stole nothing, sir. Never did, not in all my life. That French cunt is playing with the Welshman's tiny and ineffective mind. Push your mind. <laughs> anyway, you all got horses now. No one needs to die. Leave him be. Who do you think you are, boyo? The bloody cavalry? Your voice is really starting to get on my nerves, boyo. And you're getting on my nerves. Yeah. Uh-oh. Take nothing, out. Dude. Wait, kill him? Really? Just committing murder right here in the middle of town. A Mr. Nigel West Dickens said you'd help me locate a machine gun. And since I just saved your life. Oh, I can't thank you enough for taking care of those two degenerates. Uh, untrustworthy, poor in personal hygiene, lacking in the finer qualities of a, a gentleman. <laughs> uh, what about the gun? It'd be my pleasure. Uh, she's magnificent government issue. It'll be a bit of a ride, but we'll get there soon enough. Uh, follow me, fella. We're going right now. Okay. Alrighty, my guardian angel, this way. <laughs> this is turning into a hell of a day. I'll say. I saved a burning barn and an Irishman. What's your name, friend? John. John Marston. Stroke of luck you came along, fella. I thought I'd drunk me last breakfast there for a second. Who <laughs> <laughs> were those fine specimens of humanity? They was me only friends in the world. And boy, am I glad to see them bastards dead. We all met on the boat over a few years back, we did. Kick his thieves ever since, and that right there was the problem. Is it normal for friends in Europe to drown each other? No, where are we going? Never Welshman, me pa always told me. And he got his throat slit, so he should know. The kind of fellows who will steal an acorn from a blind sow and then kick her for squealing. And as for that French bastard... He didn't sound very French. Not for now. The thieving bastards are hoard up at the cabin by the lake. Can't wait to see the look on their faces when we blast in there. They'll be more surprised than a slut dog with their first porcupine. You best not be lying to me. Listen, fella, I didn't ask for your help back there. I don't owe you nothing. I'll decide what you do and don't owe me. I've had enough of your overly aggressive manner, fella. You don't know who you're dealing with here. Irish, I've met enough men like you to last me a lifetime. We are off-roading. Like, this guy's all over the place. Whoa, the water! I you feel can like make quick work of those fellas if they give you trouble. The gun's stored just inside that chat. What about you helping me out? Uh, I'll cover you from the ridge. I'm better from long range. It'll be a piece of cake, fella. Trust me. Yeah, I feel like I feel like I'm being tricked to go in here and kill these guys. Um, like maybe Irish has old beef with them or something, and he just wants me to kill him. What? Lake Don Julio. Hey, hey, hey. Uh, he's aiming his gun at me. Are you deaf or plain dumb? Get the hell out of here. I guess we're not going to talk. Let's get the guy behind him and this guy and come on, come on, come on. Woo wee. Okay. Come on. Uh-oh. Oh, I missed. Come on. Let me try that. Do I have any ammo for this? What? I really don't understand what these guys are saying to me. Who's left? We got one more. One more. 
So, I guess we should probably pick up some ammo at the very least, you know? Do we need to loot all the bodies? I don't know. Don't think you'll be wanting this no more, friend. Oh, they do. They kind of pay really well. Like, five whole dollars right there. Ooh, okay. I can't say no to that. Hard times here, you know? If you guys uh, ever see the outro on my videos, the dog that's always in the background, or if you've watched any of my live videos, my live streams, um, the dog that's always in the back, Artie, he he got uh, an injury on his leg, and so instead of making him wear a cone, me, oh shoot! Instead of making him wear a cone and be all uncomfortable, I've got him in pajamas to kind of keep him from bothering. The wound, and I just have to say, this is the it's most adorable here. thing. Lion sack of shit. We've been tricked. I knew it. See. I guess we don't get to loot the fireplace like in Red Dead 2. Sorry, partner. That was always like one of the prime places to check for loot. Anyways, yeah, poor Artie's all bandaged up. Well, he's not bandaged. I guess it's. The vet wanted to leave it uncovered so that it didn't stay, like, damp and get infected. So that's the reason for the pajamas. But he's all... He's pretty out of it today. Poor boy. What do we have here? How do you... There we go. Oh, no. Did it fall in the water? <laughs> the way that we just went down that hill... Sometimes this game is funny. But look at the lake, though. Isn't that so cool? Lake Don Julio. Okay, um... So Irish lied to us. That's great. I really feel like he, um... He just wanted those guys dead for some reason or another. Now, I think the question is... Do we go back and speak to Irish? Right now? I guess that would make the most sense. It's still the same day. Wild fever few. Let's see where Irish went. And where are we? We're way down here. Nigel West Dickens is way over there. And then where exactly is... Irish? Oh, okay, so Irish went to Benedict's point. <laughs> he he uh, really ran out there. So, um, I guess in that case, let's see what Seth's got going on. Come on. And, oh, shoot, hold on. How far is that? Ah, that's so far north. Okay, let's go. I just realized there's like a bunch of little animal symbols on the map. And I can't remember. I'm pretty sure That's those are pretty right. accurate to where you could find that type of animal. I, I think I just saw wolves on the map. Although it's kind of hard to tell the difference between the wolf and the coyote. But isn't this... Uh, where was it at? Is this... Oh no, that's a bobcat. Never mind. <laughs> that's a coyote. Uh, I want to say... Oh my gosh, buffalo! I don't see wolves on here at all. But, aren't they in... Can't you find them in Mexico pretty easy? Wow, I really had forgotten about all these different kinds of animals. Like, check it out. There's, um... What's this? Like a jaguar or something? Horses. Um, uh, armadillos. Sheep. Like, bighorn sheep. And then, I guess that's a bobcat. But I don't see wolves on this map anywhere. Unless this is a wolf. That could be. I think these are coyotes. Okay, let's go check in on Seth. I really, I don't remember a lot of the quests that Seth has for us. I know it's a lot of chasing down treasure and whatnot. Hey, oh wow. That was interesting. Wildlife was hunting itself. Guys, I just want to, I just want to skin my animal, please. Don't want to be involved. 
Now, what was that? A wolf! Oh, another wolf! I want that one. Oh, man. Don't look, Artie. That should be getting us closer to our goal, because uh, my next challenge is to kill five wolves before they have a chance to hurt me. What is this? Oh my gosh, a snake! I totally forgot there were snakes in this game. Dude. I don't know which is scarier, snake or, uh, or spiders. Ah, here we go. Oh my gosh. Another wolf victim! Got him. Uh, here's another one. Let's see how many that is. Should be- I think I only need five. And there's a coyote. And there's deer in the background. This place is just like so full of wildlife. If this is how it really was in real life, there's no way I would be hiking ever. Can you imagine? Those wolf hearts sell for twelve dollars. I'm Oh, that was scary. Poor guy. Wolf pelt. I was thinking about this earlier in Red Dead Redemption 2, how when you're hunting animals, you actually have to be accurate with your shots because if you like shoot them too many times or Whatever, um, it ruins their pelts. I totally forgot about that. What's... Ooh, that's a pretty one. Um, let me see about the journal. Kill five wolves. Oh, shoot! With your knife? Oh. Oops. I'm not sure why I have any of that done then, because I haven't killed any with my knife. How do you do this? Oh, okay. Just like shooting. Ah! Get off. Oh my gosh, it's... Jeez, that was... Violent. Graphic. Goodness. With your knife? I don't know why it's showing that I have any of those done. Alright. Um, I'll see... I'll finish this up so I don't waste your guys' time while I'm standing around here hunting wolves and then... Uh, we'll be... we'll go to meet Seth. Okay, I figured while we're in town, let's go ahead and see what the gunsmith's got in here. They're supposed to have something new. Talk to the gunsmith. So we've got... Ooh, we probably should get the bandolier. This doubles ammo capacity on rifles and repeaters. But none of these are available. I've already got them all. And then we've got... Shotgun ammo, repeater, explosive. Um, okay, then I guess let's just get the bandolier. Not sure why it told me I had. Um, they had like more weaponry available. So, so I did get the wolf challenge done, and now it wants me to hunt. I think it's like five armadillos and three bears. Something like that. And we're not going to see bears for a long time. So I guess that kind of puts a halt on that. Nice doing business with you. All right. If I remember correctly, bears are only in the northern part of the game. And you can't get there for quite a while still. Okay, so Seth's right over. Oh, not there. I thought he was there. I guess, what is that? The theater looked like a church. Oh, look at that bird. Oh my gosh. Oh shoot, I can't aim high enough. Gosh, it's huge. I think it's a buzzard. Oh, look at its wingspan. Wow. Vulture. 
those vultures are humongous. Like, I don't know if you've ever seen one in real life. Um, but I see them every now and then, like, on the road eating roadkill and stuff. And, like, they're so big that, honestly, I am always a little bit afraid that they're not going to be able to get up and out of the road before I hit them. And I feel like hitting them would be pretty damaging to your car. Like, they're that big. And, obviously, I don't want to hit a bird. So... A gentle drive with something. Seth! Hey, John. Hey, partner. Dude, put Do it down. Need? Ready to help me? Not quite. Not quite ready. He's got hey, three see, bodies in that coffin. Looking for that last bit of map. And I got to thinking, Moses was a liar. And I imagine myself doing all kinds of unpleasant things to his corpse. <laughs> And then I realized... Realized you were sick in the head? That you needed to move on with your own limited time on Earth? No, partner. I realized Moses were no liar. The issue was Aiden O'Leary, who said he had the body. Aiden died in that flu epidemic, and the bodies weren't even buried yet. You got the body sitting in the back of that wagon behind you? Yes, sir. You're not even going to wait until they're buried before you... <laughs> Well, they don't care, do you, boys? Honest folk, off to a better place. Apart from that Aiden O'Leary fella, I never liked him. They say he laid with his sister. Ugh. <laughs> John's face. I don't like women, partner. What? I don't. Not since Mammy died. Seth. This guy has all different kinds of what problems. What are you gonna do with those bodies? I'm gonna take them back to a nice quiet spot and look for the map. I need the map, partner. I need it. It looks like. Let's go. Smeagol. We're the only ones with an interest in these here fellers. Oh boy, these are. All right. Bodies that are wanted by multiple men. These sleeping beauties. <laughs> <laughs> the sleeping beauties. This is disgusting. I guess we're just gonna we're gonna steal some bodies. Stay left. No need for the people of Armadillo to see my friends back here. Yeah, no kidding. Tr no need for them to see me with your friends either. Where are you? Come on, don't be shy. What did you say? I didn't say nothing. Are you talking to them? So what if I am? I feel less alone with them than in a crowd of people. Way I see it, they lost their souls, just like me. You're truly a sick man, Seth. And you remind me of why I hate people. For a man who kills so much, you sure seem to have a problem with the dead. Life kills everyone in the end. <laughs> they ain't so different from you and me. Aside from them being dead and rotting, I guess they ain't. All right, Seth, calm down. You talk to the corpses and I'll drive the wagon. <laughs> oh my! It's them damn treasure hunters! Oh treasure no! Hunters, I'll run them! Oh gosh. Seth! For the map back here. Or you could maybe shoot these right guys. guys. Come on. Woo! Oh, that guy was on fire. Ammo. What? Oh, do I have explosive yeah. ammo or something? This fella had a few bucks on him. Wow. All done with this one. Uh, and he just lobs him over the side. Are you hiding something from Seth? Oh, you naughty little boy. Please, Seth. Keep it down. Shh. This will all be over Oh, soon. we've got company. No need for money where you're going, friend. Oh, boy. Oh, that's a big boy. Did you see that guy? Ooh. Pleasure meeting you. Oh, wait. Maybe that's why that guy was on Damn fire. Nation. He had a Molotov or something. Come on. Now, play nice, my lovely. This won't is there take a such long. thing as exploding Let's ammo in this game? This turn. I don't know. Yeah, this fella had a few bucks on him. Great. Keep a touch, old pal. What did he say? They they died of some kind of a flu. I don't know if I'd be touching those bodies. Although Seth's hands already look like they're oh, rotting wow. away. Oh. Just going on a little trip. Oh, there's another big guy. Oh my gosh. That guy takes two bullets. Wait, did he say the law? This isn't the law. Oh! A wagon! Wait, wait, wait. 
Keep Wait, going. did he find? There. I don't know how to reverse this We're thing. Ducks. Let's go. Work I'm trying. We gotta make a sharp, sharp Lose turn here. Horses, damn it. Try not to dump your you and your bodies out of this wagon, Seth. Seth looks very weird without a hat on too, actually. <laughs> Oh my gosh, stay on the road, guys. Tumbleweed. Is that what he said? We're going to Tumbleweed? I think that's the ghost town. Oh, narrow bridge, narrow bridge. Holy smokes. Finally, months of searching. I'm gonna be rich beyond my wildest dreams. <laughs> Maybe then you can take a bath. <laughs> Thanks, mister. I reckon I'll sit here a while trying to figure this out. I'm gonna be rich. When you're done with that, get over to Fort Mercer. I need you inside that place. After I find my treasure, mister. Highly unlikely. Now, what was that up there? Oh, a big old windmill. Um. Yeah, this is just the ghost town, I think. Oh, look at that. I don't want to drive this wagon. Check those out. Skulls on sticks. All right, so what do we got? Oh, we got a Seth quest right there. We might as well do that, yeah? Yeah, let's go do that. Sounds like a, oh, I knocked one of the skulls off. I feel like that's some kind of bad luck. Okay, don't follow me, horse. I'm sorry I called you. See, why does it keep saying new weaponry is available? No, it's not. Here we've got another um, cemetery. Let's see what kind of things these guys died from. Um, that says something about Moses right there, but I can't read it. The grass is in the way. Hanged for a murder he didn't commit. Well, they found that out just a little bit too late. Age 25 years. Aged 11 years, taken too soon, gosh. Rustlers. What? Rustlers hanged by, Rustler hanged by his own rope. Ooh. Okay, let's go talk to Seth. Let the dead bury oh, the dead? Oh, like that, is it? Huh? Not talking to Seth today? Oh, <laughs> the old silent treatment. Oh. 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 <laughs> That's quite a stench. Hey, Seth. Oh. Oh. Seth, come back here. Oh, hey, partner. I was just looking for you. Looking for me? What? Over there? How you doing? I'm good. Well, uh, see you later, partner. Where you going, partner? <laughs> Nowhere. <laughs> okay. Nowhere wouldn't happen to be where that thing you're looking for is kept, would it? No, sir. <laughs> no, sir. Come on, partner. <laughs> okay, I was just uh, fooling. Partner, uh, you know, the thought of that treasure does funny things to me. According to the map, it's somewhere in that big abandoned house. Uh, right there on the hill? So, all right, I guess we're going to help him look for his treasure. If I remember correctly, I think this treasure ends up being something kind of funny. Can we, should we jog? Does Seth jog? Nope. Okie dokie. Wow, look at this ghost town. Whoa! It's an ambush! I want the barrel! Give me the barrel, Seth! Uh-oh. What gun are we using? The, the repeater. I like this gun. Where's this guy? Oh! Oh, a bunch just popped up. Ah! Old sheriff's office. Uh. Well, there's one right here in front of us. I don't see anything over on the right. Ah, there he is. Didn't get him. Oh, yeah, we did. Come on. You gotta... Oh, jeez. 
So our revolver ammo is full. I think this guy... Oh, shoot. Nope. Do you think I should maybe use a different gun? I don't know what the range is on this. Oh, range is pretty good. Range is very good. I think I really like this gun. Uh, is that a guy? An enemy? Alright, so the range isn't great. That far ahead. But surprisingly, it's decent. Give me some more of that. Oh, I thought that was Seth. <laughs> Check this house. Now, wouldn't this make an awesome haunted house? I've got Halloween on my brain, I guess. Everything on, like, my social media feed is all about fall and Halloween and all kinds of stuff. And I got all my fall decorations and my Halloween decorations out this weekend. And I feel like it's just on my mind. Why me? This is yours. Let's try around the back. No, Seth would never have found this treasure if not for me. Ah, I'm a spooky old tree. Don't go! Just help me this one last time! What? I'm coming, Seth. I gotta go around the house. Oh, let me guess. Me first? Alright. Here we go. Come on, Seth. What the hell? Uh oh, it's dark and I hear people. I don't see any- oh, shoot! I think there's more. Okay, nobody behind there. Alright. They all look like Seth. So I feel like Seth better stay out of my way. I might accidentally shoot him. This is quite the basement. Where are the stairs? Don't leave any alive. I don't see anybody. I don't even see any stairs. Oh, here they are. Don't let them get my treasure, mister. Oh, there's somebody to the right. Sunday, boy. Ah! Oh my gosh. There's a bunch. Shoot, I can't. Well, we get him like that. Okay, get undercover, John. You really I think we got him. I wonder if this was a house or a bar, because the way that the furniture and the piano is set up, it almost looks like more of like a bar. Ah. Uh, ammo full. I hate stopping. Treasure hunter outfit. I hate stopping in the middle of quests to loot bodies. It just doesn't feel realistic. And, but I also like, I don't want to leave them. <laughs> Seth, please. Is that Seth over there? Yeesh. Think you can just walk in here? Where is this treasure? I feel like there's going to be one more. Oh, yeah. Isn't this the treasure right here? Yeah! <laughs> Finally, I see the light at the end of this very long, long tunnel. <laughs> Seth's gonna be rich after all these years. <laughs> it's silk sheets and Parisian whores from now on. <laughs> the <Mr>. dance. <laughs> Can't wait to see what it is. What the goddamn hell is this? A glass eye? <laughs> yes, a glass I'm eye. I'm sure whoever that belonged to treasured it very much. <laughs> In that big box, that's stupid it. Liars. Those stupid chicken shit maps. Making a damn fool of me. A glass eye! <laughs> it's a glass eye! Stop <laughs> with the tears and help me with Williamson's gang. And you can come up with another excuse to go exhume one of your old friends. I 
Hunting dead man's treasure ain't done me no favors. Sure. Sure. I'm ready for the living. I'll see you and Mr. West Dickens over at Fort Mercer when you gentlemen is ready. All right, so it looks like we finished Seth's quest. I'm not really sure that you can go back to a normal life after the things that this guy's been into. All right, let's loot some bodies. Treasure hunter outfit. I wonder what that's about. You're now somewhat known around the frontier. It costs you significantly less to convince officers of the law to turn a blind eye. So we're, we're, um, what's it called? We're, oh gosh, why can't, why can't I think of the word? Um, bribing. We can bribe people now. Plus a hundred honor. Check that honor bar out. Come on, John, we can get over this. Big old shirtless guy there. Oh, why does it look so... Must be. Oh, look at that. The moon behind the spooky tree. It's like the lighting almost looks a little green out here. Repeater ammo. Get. All right. Well, we got Seth secured then. He's going to help us. He's agreed and he's agreed to meet us out there with Nigel West Dickens uh, whenever we're ready. But we still got to do um, we still need we got to talk to the marshal. Nigel West Dickens is down here. And then wasn't there another quest for Irish? How come it's always so hard to see his symbol? Oh, right here. Okay, so we've got at least three more. I think the marshal, I think this is going to be the last one for the marshal. Not too sure about these two, though. And then, oh, we're about to be headed to Mexico any time now, guys. So that's pretty exciting, actually. Um, let's see. I wonder, should we just go pay that guy for his farm real quick? I mean, we're kind of sort of close. Let's go do that real quick. Come on, horse. I think it's stuck. Maybe we'll just start going and it'll catch up. Come on, horse. Oh, I see him. He's coming. Okay. Smooth, John. All right, here we are. Pleasant's house. So let's pay this guy for his property real quick. And, um, and then we'll be done with this quest. Two, yeah, 200. I got it. I finally got it. Give Clyde $200. Okay. I'll take it. And it sounds like he's giving me the whole here property. Go, then, partner. Good luck out here. Yeah, because he said he was going to leave and go somewhere else. Return to McAllister's camp with the good news. So 200. Let's see if there's a chest or anything in here I could loot. No, but I could change outfits. Um. All right, I guess let's head back to the dude and see. I want to see if he gives me 200 or more or less, which where are we? That guy is up, uh, up near Hennigan's stud, right? Water and honesty. Here it is. Okay, let's head up that way. $200 for that whole property there. And supposedly, at least according to that guy, there's water under the property. That's insanity. And he acted like he had enough land that he could split it into different parcels. Because, uh, um, uh, what is it? In the beginning, John asked if he would just give him a parcel of land, but then the guy was kind of like, well, you could just have the whole thing and I'll go get a place up in Blackwater. Come on. I wonder how much land we're talking here. House, land, water? I mean, my goodness. Might be a jackpot. Oh, wait, wait, wait. What? It wants me to go through? What in the world? This isn't a road. This is a an arena. Why did it mark that as a road on the map? This is like when Google Maps tells you to go down a road, but it's actually like an alley. <laughs> What's happening? 
goodness sakes, why? I feel like it stays dark a lot longer than it stays daytime. Maybe that's just because I'm always a little bit like, gosh, can the sun come up already? But I feel like it's been nighttime for so long. Okay, here's our guy. So let's see what kind of a deal we've made. Slow down. Here he is. What's he doing? It looks like he's, yeah, he's got binoculars just looking out hey, over the valley. Howdy. You got the deed? Yep. Here it is. Ah, uh, you're about as hollow as anyone seems. All right. Good of you to put your own money up for the deed. <laughs> there you go. There's a little something extra in there for you. Always best when these transactions go smoothly. Particularly when you can make more money out of it. Hmm. Good luck with the property, McAllister. Oh yeah. Give me those binoculars. We got 20 bucks. All right, all right. I mean, I was hoping for at least 50. We got some fame and honor, though. Okay, guys, well, that does it for this episode. Thanks so much for watching, and next time we'll probably continue on with either Seth or Nigel. I'm not sure which. One of the two. Um... So yeah, I think we're getting closer and closer to heading down to Mexico. Well, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll catch you in the next one. Goodbye. I'm Brittany with Desert Bee Games. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video and you'd like to help my channel grow, all you gotta do is hit the like and subscribe buttons below. If you'd like to see your name at the end of every video, please consider joining channel memberships right here on YouTube. Can't wait to see you there.